Greetings, I'm Hondo, and this is my review of the Broughton SV Pre. The single chain today is going to be my modern vintage MVP4 into my Trickfish Bullhead 0.5K straight in Ableton. So this thing is built rock solid. It's got a particularly nice finish that feels kind of like um, like truck bed liner. Uh, so it feels very heavy duty. Um, it's not particularly heavy and it's not particularly big. So you know it's not going to take up a lot of space on your board or make your pedal board too heavy. And all the knobs on here are very firmly attached, and all the switches are. Um, really firm to move around so nothing's loose and overall this pedal feels like you could throw it against a wall and pick it up and keep using it uh, which is exactly what i like so um high marks for this one the controls on this pedal are basically the same as what you'll find on a old school svt head uh, on the top row you have the bass middle and treble controls for the eq and these are all flat uh, when everything is at noon uh, the frequency of the mids knob is controlled by this middle knob on the second row, uh, which is where this differs from uh, the old school SBT heads because they had stepped frequencies, but instead Broughton decided to go with a continuous uh, frequency selector. So this goes from 220 hertz all the way up to 3000 hertz with no steps, which is nice. The gain knob functions like the volume knob did on older SVT heads uh, without a separate preamp gain knob. So basically, the more you turn this gain up, the more tube drive you're gonna get. The master knob doesn't have any effect on the tone and instead is just an overall level control. The bright switch gives you a really delightfully aggressive treble boost, uh, and this is significantly more powerful and more noticeable when you're on the cleaner side of the gain knob. Uh, the more you drive the pedal, the less emphasized the bright switch is. The low switch is neutral in the middle and a very smooth kind of low cut in the right position. But then the left position gives you that signature like ultra low, uh, weighty, mid-scooped uh, SVT sound. Uh, two quick notes about this switch. Uh, the low cut position is excellent for helping you get some of the classic kind of tighter drive sounds um, and if you engage the mid scoop over on the left you're probably going to need to compensate for your overall volume with the master knob to make sure that you're keeping everything um, at the same perceived volume. So a buddy of mine uh, recommended that I check out this pedal. So I reached out to Broughton to see if they would be interested in sending this to me um, and they did so Huge thank you to Broughton for that. Uh, I had some pretty high expectations for this pedal because I really like the SVT sound. And I can tell you that I was not disappointed whatsoever. Um, right from when I first turned this pedal on, I was pleased with the way it sounded right out of the gate. Um, just using this pedal straight into Ableton, it sounded great right away. Um, the EQ on here is very effective and the sweepable mid-range really lets you kind of decide where you want your bass to be in a mix um, all the way from the 220 hertz end it gives you kind of like that 
big like huge foundational type sound and then if you push it up to the 3k range then it gives you a really nice like upper mid-range cut um, the gain is really good sounding um, and it works really well with other pedals um, which I'll talk about a little bit more in the uh, bonus clip section um, and overall this does sound to me um, like SPTs have sounded to me in the past. Um, I haven't used them a ton, but I've used them enough to know that I really like them. And this gives me the qualities uh, that I really like about the SVTs. And probably my favorite SVT sound is having both the bright and the ultra low engaged. And I feel like this pedal really kind of nails that sound. Um, and especially if you run it through an impulse response of an eight by 10, uh, which I'm gonna do in the bonus clip section a little bit later. Uh, but overall, this pedal is really nicely built. It looks really cool and it's a good price and it sounds fantastic. So. If you like SVT sounds, you need to check this out. If there was anything else I could even ask for with this pedal, um, it would probably just be a DI, so an XLR out, um, and maybe the ability to load a cabinet impulse response. That would be super neat to be able to load the 8x10 sound in here along with the head sound. Um, but I would only want that if they could keep the price of the pedal where it is, um, because this pedal sounds so good. It's got that like boutique pedal type of sound to it um, but for $175 I think this is like a really good value um, and it would be a pedal that you would probably end up turning on and kind of just like leaving on all the time um, and I think the value of it is more important than those two extra features um, in particular because a lot of people that use a lot of pedals might already have that stuff and then it would suck to have the price be higher and then the feature set be redundant um, so yeah I think that this pedal is great as is and that's all i got to say about that so for the bonus clips i wanted to give you an idea of what the pedal would sound like if you were to run it through an 8x10 cabinet so i combined some of the original sound clips with uh impulse responses of an 8x10 with a uh, audix d6 mic on it um, and also I uh, did a couple of sound clips running a fuzz and some distortion uh, into this pedal to give you an idea of how it responds uh, to other drives. So uh, take a listen, check these out, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. So overall, this pedal basically just does what it says it's gonna do on the box. Uh, it's supposed to sound like an SVT, and to me, it definitely does. So if you really like that uh, old school SVT type of sound, uh, this is a really reasonably priced pedal that's built incredibly well, um, and looks good and sounds awesome, so there's no reason you shouldn't check this out. So that's it for this video. If you dug it, please do uh, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will be incredibly grateful and it really helps the channel out. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipe over the next few weeks. Um, so hopefully you will come back and check that stuff out. Uh, in the description below, there'll be links for all of the pedals and equipment that I used in the video. And also there'll be links for my social media, which will include my Instagram and my uh, Twitch and my Discord. Uh, and it would be really cool if you would come hang out over there. It's a really cool community and we talk about all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, but that said, uh, that's it for me. And I hope you are staying happy and staying healthy. And I hope I see you around soon. Take it easy.